Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose x and y are real numbers such that x is less than y. Then there are infinitely many rational numbers q such that x is less than q is less than y. Now, we've already shown that there exists a rational number q such that x is less than q is less than y. This is often referred to as the density theorem. And so we're going to use this fact in order to prove this theorem. Okay, now to start out the proof, we're going to consider the set of all rational numbers q, which satisfy x is less than q is less than y. The whole goal is essentially to prove that s is infinite. Well, assume for a contradiction, we instead have that s is finite. Well, by the density theorem, s is non-empty. So, we must then have that s is non-empty and finite. And every non-empty finite subset of real numbers has a largest element. So S must have a largest element. And we'll say that the largest element of S is capital M. Well, since capital M is the largest element of S, of course, capital M is an element of S. So we have that X is less than capital M is less than Y. But by the density theorem, there must exist a rational number between capital M and Y. I'll call that rational number capital M prime. But from here, it's pretty clear that we can deduce that capital M prime is an element of S. The reason why is because X is less than capital M which is less than capital M prime, which is less than Y. So we must have that X is less than capital M prime, which is less than Y. So capital M prime satisfies all the requirements to be an element of S, right? Because we take Q to be capital M prime. Well, yeah, capital M prime is a rational number. That's what we have here. And X is less than capital M prime is less than Y. That's what we have here. So capital M prime is an element of S. But let's remember that capital M is the largest element of S. And what that means is, is that capital M is greater than or equal to every element in S. So in particular, we must have that capital M is greater than or equal to capital M prime. But this contradicts the fact that capital M is less than capital M prime. So we've reached a contradiction. Our assumption that S is finite leads to a contradiction, so we must instead have that S is infinite. So putting this together now, we started out by considering the set of all rational numbers Q such that X is less than Q is less than Y. From there, we proceeded to show that this set is infinite. So there are infinitely many rational numbers Q such that X is less than Q is less than Y. And that is precisely what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.